Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am taking a bit of a dive into various neural style transfer repositories over here on GitHub. The three I'll be looking at today are neural style transfer in TensorFlow and two in PyTorch, so neural style PT and also style transfer PyTorch as well. Okay, so what is neural style transfer? If we scroll down, we'll get a, a little bit of a, a guide on what is going on. So you can see here we've got a picture of a lion. We've got a style, the starry knight there. Put the two together, and you get a starry lion. Fantastic. So there's some more examples there. And the wave and the lion, I always like. I like the wave. I use that quite a lot. But uh, you don't have to use just one style, and you don't have to use one set of weights either. You can, you can apply more or less style, and uh, you can use multiple images there. And if you're using multiple images, then you can apply different weights to each of those styles as well as so you can have one style more prominent than another. In a couple of these you can also transfer the style but not the colour, which is quite useful in some uh, instances, and also do segmentation and on this one as well has video optical flow as well. This is the only one that has optical flow in or doing style transfer on video. Okay, so let's have a, a quick look at getting all of these installed. Basically, it's, a, it's just a couple of environments that I use. I, want, I use one uh, for TensorFlow and one for PyTorch. So uh, this, of course, assumes that you have your NVIDIA drivers already installed and your NVIDIA toolkit and uh, Anaconda or Miniconda for getting your Python virtual environment set up. As always, I am using Ubuntu 2004 on here. So first one, Neural Star Transfer in TensorFlow. Quite easy. Obviously, Git clone and uh, you can Git clone the other two as well and uh, create your Python virtual environment. I'm using the NVIDIA fork of TensorFlow. Uh, this is because I'm using one of the newer cards, one of the Ampere cards, an RTX 3090, and uh, this needs some changes that NVIDIA have done to their release of TensorFlow uh, because the official TensorFlow 1.14 or 1.15 just does not work on these Ampere cards. So if you have an older card, such as uh, an RTX 2080 Ti or some such, you can use the official TensorFlow and uh, CUDA 10 and such like, but for CUDA 11, I need to use the NVIDIA one. So pip install, NVIDIA Pi Index, and also the NVIDIA TensorFlow Horovod will work nicely on the new Ampere cards. Uh, for the NeuralStyle TF and NeuralStyle PT, you will also need to download the VGG weights. Uh, for this one, you download them manually. There's a little link that you click on on there. And uh, for the neural style PT, there's a little script that you run that will download for you. So uh, Python models, download models, and that'll download the VGG and the NIN model for you. So for setting up uh, your PyTorch environment, if you've already got a PyTorch environment, then fine, you can just use that. If you haven't, uh, then Anaconda, create uh, a new PyTorch environment, Python 3.7 I'm using here. And uh, you can go over to the PyTorch website to get the either the pip install or the Condor install. So you only need to run one of those and that gets you Torch with CUDA 11. Excellent stuff. Now for the style transfer PyTorch, uh, you will also need to do a pip install minus E and then specify your style transfer PyTorch directory. And that will run the little setup script and uh, download all the bits and pieces for you. So once you've got your two environments, one with uh, TensorFlow and one with PyTorch, or if you want to merge them both into one, that's fine. Um, then you can start running things. Now I started running things with a little batch script here. So we've got one here that does uh, 16 different stars. It runs through lots of things and, uh, and shows me the output because I wanted to see what the results would be like pretty much using the defaults uh, for each of those. So uh, this basically runs through those style directories, runs the particular style transfer command. As you can see, that's pretty much the only thing that changes is the style transfer command. I also do a little memory grep in there to uh, see what is happening on my NVIDIA GPU and also a little bit of timing just to tell me how many seconds each particular run took. Now, the uh, the script is uh, it does it on a, a standard 512 by 512 image of a Kingfisher. Uh, there are some slight changes. Um, you've got pooling types which vary between the, the various different repositories. Um, now the paper tends to say that using a pooling type of AVG works, uh, but others have found that max pooling works better, and max pooling is the default in Style Transfer PyTorch. Um, so yeah, have a play with both of those. I know I did. So a uh, little bit of the results in there. So the TensorFlow version, on the 3090 stock settings for this uh, 
512 by 512. The, uh, the average time for each transfer there was about 92 seconds, about half of that on the PyTorch variant. And the, the style transfer PyTorch is slightly different. It's slightly different. I ran that for a thousand iterations, but the default for that one is it works slightly differently. Uh, is to have a thousand iterations first and then 500 afterwards. So if you do it in their default way, that's 53 seconds. So fairly similar to the neural style PT. But uh, as you can see there, basically that one's the slowest, that one's the fastest, and this one, if you use the defaults, is sort of sort of in between. Now, with respect to VRAM usage, um, neural style uh, TensorFlow version uh, just basically seems to allocate um, as much of memory as you have got on your card, and, and it just uses it. Um, the neural style PT, I use CUDN, uh, CUDNN uh, with auto-tune, and that does much the same thing. So it sort of has a little look at it and says, oh, how fast is your card? How much can I allocate? And that will allocate most of it. The style transfer PyTorch uh, will just use a minimal amount of RAM depending on your maximum resolution. Um, now, the maximum resolution that you can do with each of these is quite high. Um, you can go up to uh, about a max size of 3000 on each of them. But with the first one, the TensorFlow implementation, you will also need quite a lot of system RAM as well. So if you're using a max size of 3000, when I did my test, uh, that also went up to using 28 gig of system RAM as well. Whereas these other two sort of sat around uh, two or four gig extra system RAM that they needed. Okay, so let's, let's have a little look at the output of some of these. So I've got my two different pooling types here, the AVG and the Max, and this is the TensorFlow one. So uh, I've got, I'm using the same styles, obviously, in each one. So there is that test over there. And then in the PyTorch one, which one was I looking at there? Was I looking at the Max? I was looking at the AVG. Okay, AVG, and we've got that one there. And then over in this one here, AVG, same image there. There we go. Okay. So now you can see there's, there's quite different, quite different, especially this one at the end. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, that, that's interesting. But if we scroll through some of the images, we'll see even more differences. Now, one of the things with the, uh, the TensorFlow one is it splits everything up into different directories. So I uh, have, uh, have to do it like that. So there we go. So depending on uh, on what you like with your style, some of them, some of them are interesting. Now you can see here, there's perhaps not so much style going in on, on this one. And uh, I'll, I'll dig into that a little bit later. That's uh, kind of related to image resolution. But uh, that one looks quite nice. And that one's like a sort of, it's a very camouflaged, very camouflaged woodpecker there. And we'll do one more example here. Ceramic. There we go. So you can see that there's very different outputs um, using the, the default settings uh, between each of these. And uh, depending on your you know, artistic likes, um, you, you may prefer one over the other. Um, I'll show more of these towards the end of the video, just so you can uh, see the different styles and the different settings that I've used on those. But that, that gives you a, an impression of uh, the different style transfers. Now, these are all using essentially the, the same technique. So you would expect similar outputs, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's not quite the case. That's not quite the case. So what what is the main difference between all of these? Well. Other than that one running on uh, TensorFlow and these two running on PyTorch, if we scroll down a little bit here, we'll see uh, what happens when you go up to higher resolutions. So that was 512 by 512, and that's that's quite good. That's quite good. But what happens if we want to do like a an HD one? What happens if we want to do an HD one? Well, let, let's have a look at an example of an HD one. So I've got my image output here. So here's my first size test in this one, and this one is, let's have a look at the old image properties on that one, that one is 1638 by 2048. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good, I'll pop that over there, and I've got a, a size test on this one as well. So there we have a much bigger one, there we go. Okay, so that one's uh, 2400 by 3000. Now you'll sort of immediately see that this one has got a lot more style applied to it than this one, which wasn't exactly the case that we saw on, on the original ones, when, on the smaller images. It was, uh, you know, the uh, TensorFlow and PyTorch implementations both had a, a fair amount of style on. This one still had a lot of style in it, but, but these two didn't have this amount of style loss. So 
Yeah, what's, what's going on there, we wonder? What is going on there, we wonder? Well, you get, you get a little bit of a hint in the, uh, the Neural Style PT repository. So if we scroll down, scroll down and scroll down and scroll down, and then it will, it will tell us at the bottom about these, uh, these high resolution images, high resolution images. So here we go. So multi GPU scaling, they call it down here. So this is a, a 4016 by 2213 image uh, generated on eight <coughs> Tesla K80 GPUs. Of course, most of us only have the one. And uh, how, how did they do this exactly? How did they do this exactly? Well, there's a script there. There's a script there. And this tells us what's going on. So here they, they've got multiple style weights and they basically start with a small image. So 256 by 256. And then they go up bigger. So that's uh, maximum 512, then a maximum 1024, then a maximum 248, then a maximum 3620, and then a maximum 4016. And as you're going up in resolution, they're also changing this style weight as well. So there, the style weight is, uh, I think it's 2500 at the higher resolutions. Yep. So uh, yeah, as that goes up, changes the style and the style weight. Okay, that's that's interesting. So, hmm, um, is, is that something we can do on our home computers with just one GPU? Um, well, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because uh, it, it's all down to this paper here, Controlling Perceptual Factors in Neural Style Transfer which this one over here implements by default. So when you're running this, it will automatically do pretty much exactly the same thing as this script. So it will start off with a smaller resolution and then build up to whatever you specify as your maximum image size. As you can see on this one, this also has a number of other changes as well. So uh, they've got PyTorch pre-trained VGG19 weights instead of the original ones. Uh, they changed the padding mode uh, if you are using average or L2 pooling, then they've got a, a, a different scaling. They're doing the scaling results there uh, and all these other changes down here. So this is this is like the new the new improved version. You, you still will have to do a little bit of tweaking on the uh, the content and uh, style weights on this. But uh, I think this one gives by far the superior results for, uh, for running it. OK, so let's let's have a look at other things in here. So. Uh, yeah, higher resolution is basically bigger than 256 by 256. So you saw those uh, those were quite big images to start with, but uh, even just doing a basic 1080p one, there is uh, that's the style I'm using, and that's uh, that's the 1080p one. Now this one I tried putting the uh, the, the content weight all the way down to 0 0.025, and uh, the style weight was a thousand. I think it's uh, 500 by default. As you can see, it's getting close. It's getting close. Uh, to the style on the other one, but it still doesn't really, really put that style in there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So yes, if you want to use really, 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 really high resolution pictures, then this one, Style Transfer PyTorch, will do it for you. And uh, yeah. So video, as mentioned before, only the neural style transfer has the optical flow. And uh, this one, the Style Transfer PyTorch, will download the pre-trained VGG19 model for you. Now, there's uh, an example there of some of the extra options you can throw in. So here I'm increasing the iterations. Uh, it's also got the initial iteration. So when it does the smaller one, uh, like the 256 by 256, you can specify how many iterations you want to do on that uh, and then fewer iterations afterwards. Uh, multiple style weights you can specify in there. Um, you can't specify um, keeping the original colors on this one. Uh, and this one also doesn't do video. But if you want to do really high resolutions, then this one, as mentioned, pretty much does exactly the same as that script. So it scales it up each time. Uh, there are a few other options in this one as well. So this can also run in a web browser. So if you do minus minus web and minus minus browser as well, then you will get, um, well, I'll just show you what happens. Let's scroll down here, have a little look for the command. Doobie doobie doo. Right, there we go. So it's pretty simple. Style transfer, content and image, style image. All right. Okay. So let's do it. We'll do a style transfer and content image. I will pick just a random one from here. So in my home, I have some pictures. I have a variety of pictures in there. And uh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's have a look at a dog. Let's do a dog and a style image. have a 
few styles in here. I've separated some of the best ones out in there. So let's do, uh, oh, let's, let's do an illustration. That'd be quite interesting. There we go. And you can also specify an output image or it will give it to you by default. So if I throw in the minus minus web and minus minus browser options as well, then that will, uh, it will open up the server there on port 8080 by default and also open up a web browser automatically on that. Let's fire that open. There we go. Starting web interface and it pops open the browser. There you go. So, uh, oh, it actually starts smaller. So uh, 128 by 85, there you go. So this is the initial iterations that goes through and then makes the image slowly bigger and bigger. Also shows you the uh, max GPU memory used there. And uh, yeah, and there it goes. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for now. So if you want to do video, use the uh, Neural Style TF, uh, but you'll have to use quite low resolutions or scale up. Um, Pro Gamer Gov, quite good, um, has lots of options. But again, you'll have to do that script if you want to scale up, if you want to do things easily and have high resolutions and fairly reasonable speeds, then Style Transfer PyTorch is the one you will be want to be using. I think this gives some of the best results. Anyway, that's it for me. Rodent out.